All right, everybody, welcome back to yet another episode prediction video for this week's up and coming episode of The Walking Dead. This will be season eight, episode six, entitled The King, The Widow, and Rick. So this is actually the first title uh, in The Walking Dead history, all right, that it actually contains the name of Rick. You know, Rick has never been in the title before. Uh, or at least to my knowledge, but I'm I'm pretty damn sure he hasn't been. Uh, the name Rick has never been in the title of uh, a Walking Dead episode, so it's kind of cool. I, I I really like the title of this episode, The King, the Widow, and Rick, obviously referring to it, King Ezekiel, Maggie, you know, leader of the Hilltop, and of course Rick, leader of Alexandria. All right, so that's obviously what the the, the title is referring to. We're probably going to see perspectives of each of those characters, you know, and that side of the war sort of going against Negan and stuff. I'm definitely liking it. I think it's going to be a great, great episode, and hopefully, you know, hopefully it will. Hopefully it will be. Hopefully it'll deliver, if you will. So, um, I, I'm, I'm guessing the episode is essentially going to show us perspectives of different things that are going on in each community, like Rick, for example. Uh, in the promo for this week's episode, uh, by the way, link to the promo and the sneak peek and everything like that will be in the description below for you guys to watch it. Um, Rick looks like he's picking up where he left off with Daryl, you know, walking away and Daryl driving away on his motorcycle, looking to go back to Alexandria. Um, and it looks to me like Rick is going to the junkyard group, the junkyard group that he previously made a deal with and they double crossed them and they were actually working for Negan and, you know, they got offered a better deal and everything like that. Well, he makes his way back to the junkyard, all right, with Jadis, you know, the junkyard crew. It looks like he's talking to her, basically saying, I want another deal. We're going to win and, uh, you know, or or you either join us or we'll destroy you. You know, you take your pick. Uh, there's no um, there's no bagging for it this time. You know, there's no, will you join us in fighting them or are you just going to do your own thing? It's either you join us in fighting them or, well, you're going to die along with the saviors type of thing. So... A uh, much more uh, badass Rick, if you will. You know, he's he's not really giving them an option, you know. So, um, I'm not really, you know, I, I don't necessarily think that Rick would fully trust them again, you know, because they obviously double-crossed them once. But, at the same time, it, it's probably a last resort type of thing, you know. He realizes that he no longer has the kingdom. A lot of the people uh, in the kingdom died, obviously, again, aside from Ezekiel, Carol... Uh, you know, Jerry, and I'm pretty sure that's all the fighters they have and everybody else in the kingdom is just, you know, there's just civilians, you know, old age people and kids, obviously, that can't fight. Um, but all of the actual fighters in the kingdom are gone. So that's probably what they realize. And Rick's trying to essentially get some more people on their side, you know, because he doesn't necessarily know if uh, he can still win it. But he's fairly confident that he can with the plan that's going on right now, holding, holding the saviors. Sorry about that, guys. Holding the saviors like inside of, you know, their compound surrounded with walkers and stuff like that. Um, so it's definitely going to be interesting, you know, see whether or not he can actually hold that. You know, it's definitely going to be interesting. Um, you know, is that a good enough plan? You know, will he successfully defeat Negan with just him in the hilltop? Or is Jadis going to come into play here? You know, is she really going to have a key part in this? Or is she even going to join in the first place? Right. We'll, we'll definitely find out. But, uh, you know, given that option, either you join us or you die, you know, type of thing. Well, I feel like she's probably going to join him, you know, because she's seen him done, do some stuff. She, you know, she's seen him in the group, obviously fight off uh, her group and Negan's group at the same time. You know, she knows that he's more than capable now. Right. And uh, he's looking for another deal. I don't necessarily know if she's on the side of Negan right now. I'm thinking that maybe it was just a one off thing, but I really I really don't know. You know what I mean? Um, it's definitely going to be interesting to find out whether or not uh, she is still in cahoots with Negan, or like I said, maybe it was a one-time deal. We have no real clue at the moment. Um, so, you know, a little more insight to that will be nice to see. And who knows, maybe, you know, last episode we seen Rick see the helicopter again, and last time we seen that was like back in season uh, seven when he originally came to the junkyard. You know, we seen that behind him, we thought it was a mistake, stuff like that. So, I don't know, maybe that has some significance to do with the Junkyard crew. I, I highly doubt it, but maybe he could reference it. Who knows? We, we, you know, we have no real idea. I'm sorry for the background noise if you guys can hear that. I apologize. It is what it is. That's what I got to deal with on a daily basis. Um, so, anyway, the rest of the episode uh, is essentially, like, 
it looks to be like all the groups. I don't necessarily see Ezekiel or Carol or anything like that in the promo, which is kind of weird because, you know, it's titled The King, The Widow, and Rick, but he's probably in there. You know, there, there's probably something hidden in there, some hidden content and stuff that we will obviously get to see. But uh, as for The Widow, you know, Maggie, uh, we get to see The Hilltop again for the first time in a couple of episodes. The last time we seen The Hilltop was when uh, Jesus and Tara... Uh, essentially brought those imprisoned saviors to the hilltop and asked essentially to, you know, put them all the way in the back and, you know, they didn't want to kill them, right? They didn't want to set them free because they would just rejoin the fight and everything like that. Uh, so they brought them to the hilltop again you because know, they weren't really sure what to do with them, right? So this is the first time we get to see the hilltop here and it looks like Maggie's not necessarily having any of it. Uh, it looks like uh, maybe a savior is trying to cut his ties as well, which is definitely intriguing you know if he's behind the walls of the hilltop that could definitely uh you know do some harm there as well um yeah i i truly don't know what's going on there but it's definitely going to be interesting to say the least there's looks like there's going to be conflict in all honesty you know as maggie's talking about it you know she's she she needs to do something about it i believe is what she says in one in one in one part of the episode there um you know, it's it's not going to work type of thing, right? Something has to be done. And I totally agree. I don't think it's a safe idea to keep saviors behind your walls, especially when you're in this war, right? I mean, you could take your eyes off them for one second. They could break the ties, you know, kill one of the leaders or something. You know what I mean? Anything could happen. And it's just that wouldn't be good. You know, it, it definitely would not be good. So something definitely has to be done there. And I, uh, I fully agree with Maggie. I don't necessarily think she's going to execute them or, you know, kill them or even send them away. But... I feel like she's going to do something. She has to, right? It's not safe. Anyways, um, and also maybe there might be some conflict between her and Jesus as well. You know, different uh, di different sort of outlooks on things. You know, Jesus doesn't necessarily want to kill them or anything like that. And, you know, who knows? Maggie might want to, right? Um, you know, just for pure safety, right? We have no idea. There could be conflict between those two characters. It'd be definitely interesting to say the least. We know Gregory is back there as well at the hilltop because Maggie let him in. So, there is a potential storyline that could happen, uh, that did happen actually in the comic book uh, for The Walking Dead, where uh, something happened between Gregory and Maggie. You know, I don't know if that's necessarily coming soon here in the TV show, but it would definitely make for an interesting storyline. Uh, it looks like we get to see Alexandria for the first time in a while, I believe, since episode one. Um, we get to see Michonne, for one, and Rosita, which we haven't seen. Uh, Rosita, her actual... Uh, yeah. Um, what's her name? What's her name? Anyway, the actor that plays Rosita, I, I can't think of her name right now for some reason. Anyway, she was obviously pregnant, probably near the time of all this filming, and uh, that's probably why she was written out. You know, just to kind of, you know, she got shot and stuff like that right at the end of last season. So that's probably why she, uh, why why she got written out, right? Um, you know, she was shot, but to cover the fact up that she was pregnant and, you know, she probably didn't want to work while doing that. And uh, Michonne, we haven't seen in a while as well. We know that she got beat up by one of the junkyard crew, you know, just almost got beat to death essentially. And uh, almost thrown off of the guard tower. Um, interesting to say the least. That was Andrea's spot, by the way, in the walking dead where she almost got through off the, the guard tower. Um, we haven't seen Denai Guerra as as well in The Walking Dead as of recently. Again, I believe since episode one, um, we have not seen her once. Uh, and the real reason for that, I believe, was because she was filming the Black Panther movie. So I, I believe that's probably why we haven't seen Michonne. But it looks like we get to see Michonne and Rosita, so hopefully we'll get to see a lot more of them from now on. And it looks like in the sneak peek for this week's episode, which again is in the description below... Uh, it looks as though Rosita and Michonne are going off on their own, um, deviating from the plan, if you will. Um, definitely going to be interesting. It looks like Michonne sort of wanted to go out on her own and just scout some things. You know, she didn't want to sit around there anymore, uh, you know, when she feels like she's capable, right? Uh, Rosita points out, you know, why are you going out? You, go, you, got, you got beat to death, essentially. You know, you're not ready. You have to heal. And, um... You know, she's obviously not listening to Rosita, and Rosita just basically decides to go with her, gets in the car, and Michonne says, you know, you've been shot, you know, you have to heal. And um, she just insists that she go with her, right? So they do end up driving off, so where they go, I don't know. And, I mean, nobody knows, but 
uh, it's definitely going to be interesting. It's definitely going to be interesting to say the least. Uh, again, the first time we see those two characters in quite some time. So I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm excited for it. So anyway, the synopsis for this episode with things looking up for the, for Rick and the group and an argument breaks out at the hilltop. The consequences of the decision are life versus death. All right. So argument breaks out at the hilltop, probably between, you know, whether or not you want the saviors to stay there or send them out or kill them. You know, that's probably the argument it's talking about and the consequences of the decision, which is probably like, you know, them letting them stay there or something is life versus death. Like I said, there is a couple of images of a savior or somebody at least, you know, kind of cutting their ties on like the corner of a, a bench or something. I'm not really sure what it was, but anyway, it looks like someone's breaking out of their ties, you know, they're bound, if you will. And, um, yeah, life versus death. That's, that, that sounds a, a lot more serious, you know, when you, when you put it like that. So anyway, definitely going to be interesting to say the least. The King, the Widow, and Rick. Hopefully we do see Ezekiel, you know, or else I don't really know why this episode would be titled The King, the Widow, and the Rick, and Rick, and the Rick, and Rick. Um, so you got to think it has some to do with Ezekiel, right? He's got to be in there somewhere, right? It would only make sense. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching today's episode prediction video for this week's up and coming episode of The Walking Dead. It'll be season eight, episode six, entitled The King, The Widow, and Rick. And uh, that's basically it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys only watch my Walking Dead videos, I'll be back on Monday with my episode review for this episode. And uh, as well, you know, the episode airs on AMC on Sunday night at 9 Eastern. Make sure you guys go ahead and tune in. I will be as well. And, uh, you know, talk about it in the comment section below what you guys think is going to happen this episode. Do you have any ideas? Uh, you think that storyline is going to happen between Gregory and Maggie like it happened in the comic books? I'm not going to say anything, you know, because it's obviously a big spoiler, but it's interesting. You should know what I'm talking about. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys on the next video. And until then, it's been Frost, everybody. Take care. Bye. Right on my own. I